Hey you guys, just finished editing this for today's video and I wanted to show you something else I did. This is how I edit all these videos. Okay, so see this little guy? Okay, see this? I did this for a um, friend of mine. Got four on a page there. So we have a conference that we have this weekend, this coming weekend, for church. And it's televised, um, and you watch it from TV or online or whatever. It's really, really good. It's very inspiring. Our leaders teach us all about peace and love and kindness and all that kind of stuff. It's great. In fact, while I'm thinking of it, I need to get out my notebook. I have a notebook, notebook, notebook for everything. Let me see if this is my notebook right here. I need to get it now while I'm thinking of it. Yep. Oh, this is church study. I wonder if I have one for just conferences. I don't know. This is, hang on one second. All right, I think this is just like my study one. And so I'm going to do a new one. So I have all these ones to pick from. I've got brown ones, pink. Oh, that one would be cute. This one would be really cute for this kind of journal that I'm gonna do. But I do like to have that little pocket from my regular notebooks. So I'm kind of thinking the ones that don't will be ones that I use for this. So actually, I'm going to take this one because I actually really like this one for a church notebook, but I really like this pocket for my daily use. Like I use it in this one here for this kind of stuff. All this kind of like weekly stuff or my little things like this. Hello, everyone, by the way. <laughs> Sorry to jump right into my day like this. All right, so I'm going to take that notebook out there. This one I'm not going to use until later. This one is just my regular Bible study notebook. Put that over there. Okay, so this guy comes out here for tomorrow. So I don't forget it. And also ignore the dusty. Ooh, I can't even put that down. I'm going to set it here so I don't forget about it. So why am I worried about that kind of stuff? We have a really busy schedule and I have to leave here in a half hour. I have a busy schedule today. I have a busy schedule tomorrow. In terms of our conference tomorrow for church, it starts at 9 a.m. I need to be up and ready to go by 9 a.m. tomorrow to watch that because immediately after the first what we call session, it's a two hour session. Then we have to go straight to the church to do an Easter egg hunt. Yes, we're doing Easter a week early. We have spring break and this conference, and so they're just doing it early. And then we have to come back, and I need to watch conference again. And then Kaylee has to get ready for her dance. I think that's what is next. Kaylee has to get ready for her dance tonight, or tomorrow night, and then Jason and I are going out for our game night. And it'll be our last game night for like two or three weeks because we're going on vacation. So, <laughs> I'm kind of like, tomorrow has to kind of be moved along. Coming back to that little card that I made. So a friend of mine called me a couple days ago and she leads the youth in their Bible studies on a weekly basis or on a daily basis during the week for school. It's called seminary. Same thing as like Bible study, but we just do it seminary. They meet at the church right before high school starts for an hour and then they do their little church study or whatever. And so she wanted to make this little notebook for, or she wanted to make this little gift for those students in order to be prepared for this conference for this weekend and so she had me make the sign but she came up with this idea let me show you isn't this so cute so she just took that little print out and took it to probably like office depot and had them printed out so she did this use post-its to make the most of what you hear feel and are inspired to do while listening to general conference which is what it's called keep your post-its right here post-its in your journal on a mirror or in your scriptures and so then the m and m is for M&Ms, so cute. And I used the, like the logo font for the M&Ms. And then she wrote a little card for all of the leaders that will be talking tomorrow and Sunday there and right here. And then a little post-it note and a little pen. And so she brought some for my girls, which I thought was very, really special. Um, and my older two girls have decided to not do the church study group. And so she just wanted to make sure that they got one so cute so we got one of each color of the notepads and so cute and then she also wanted to pay me for doing this little card for her but I was like no and she's like then I give you a chocolate and I was like yes I'll take that and this is a new company I haven't seen before here in our town and it this looks so good it's like a graham cracker like medley I don't even know that's got to be like mango and coconut I can't even like tell what's in there but oh pecans not pecans pistachios I hope there's not nuts because I actually don't like nuts but that's okay so super cute to do that for her and then be able to get that back from her as well but next up in my little journey today, you know, if you are, if you've been here for a while, that our birthdays are 
upon us. They're literally upon us. Ashley's birthday is actually tomorrow. Yes, April Fool's Day was really fun in labor because she actually didn't come on April Fool's Day. That was the worst trick ever. If you ever want to hear her labor and delivery story, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to share it with you. I don't think we weren't filming back then, eight years ago, nine years ago. She's gonna be nine. <sighs> Insane. So now I gotta move some of my houses. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you want to hear her delivery story. Look, I still have cards up. I can't get rid of them. I can't. It's just going to get, well, I guess I maybe have to do that for the birthday. <sighs> because our day is so busy tomorrow and Jason has to go off to work in the morning, which is normally when we do all of our birthday stuff, Ashley has decided, and because our week is so crazy, I'm letting her make this decision. She's going to do her birthday tonight. It's Friday night. No one has any plans. Kaylee doesn't work. Her friends are probably coming over. Jason and I are not going out. It's an easy night to do it. It's just normally we don't do it at night. And so normally I have the evening after they've gone to bed to kind of do this kind of prep stuff and get all the birthday presents out. You know what I mean? But she wants it set up after school. And so I have to do it all right now, which is fine. It's good timing to get it done while they're in school. The problem I have is I have to take my father-in-law for a colonoscopy. But I have to take my, my father-in-law to get his colonoscopy. He has to have someone go in with him, stay with him for a little bit, and guarantee that they're gonna come back and pick him up and take him home. So that's kind of why I'm in a rush right now. But when I'm out and about, I'm gonna go and get the Krispy Kreme donuts. We always get Krispy Kreme donuts. And normally I make a cake so that we have donuts in the morning before school so they can just grab it and go. And then cake after dinner, after their birthday dinner. We're not doing that. I'm not making cake. We have a trip to go on. So I'm not doing that. Really don't wanna like mess with this stuff. Okay, trying to see what looks cute. I don't know, that's kind of cool. It's kind of having that turned sideways. <sighs> There's a lot to do. I have to hit, blow up the balloons and hang them and hang up her banner and her number nine and show you the theme of why we're doing white and like blue. I'm gonna have to move some stuff, so hang on. All right, here's the start of the design. I might put that white box back behind. I don't know, let's see. But I've got all of this stuff here that I need to start to prep. But I literally have like eight, nope, 17 minutes before I have to leave. And so I've got to decide what to do first. I'm gonna blow this guy up and I'm gonna blow the nine up and then maybe I can get the ladder in here and hang these command hooks on the roof or on the ceiling. But I need to get the compressor out and blow up these balloons. And so I don't think I'm gonna have time for that. So let's do these guys. Okay, the mylar was like sticking and not blowing up the little cloud on this side. And so I couldn't get it to like go and I was like passing out. Okay, look how cute this is. I need to go and get more of these. I didn't know it was gonna be that big. Ah, so cute. Oh, I wish I had more time to finish this, you guys. Look how cute that's gonna look. I'm not even gonna tell you how I'm gonna do it. This is not gonna go here, but I wanna see what it looks like. The nine, so I'm not, they're not gonna go here, but look how cute. Oh, I love it. It's gonna be really cute, but it's actually gonna involve some more space. like up here, so. Alexa, off. Oh, okay, I set a timer for myself. I got all these balloons blown up really, really quick. I still have a few more from this package, so I didn't quite get 15 done. Um, but I am gonna work on this when I get back home. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, so we're just gonna start with that for now. Right, I'm here to get my father-in-law, take him up to the hospital for a little procedure. He just has to have a ride home. He can't drive home himself. We're doing this really quick, and while I wait for him to get done, and then I think it's gonna be like an hour, hour and a half, hopefully, then I can get the Krispy Kreme donuts and some more decorations and a few more snacks. I did hit up the dollar store. Actually, a few things I got. I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna do a little sign for Ashley, and so I had to get some more of these letters. Kaylee used a lot of hers to make that sign for Jacob, and so I didn't wanna have to like not have the letters I needed when I go home. So I just got two more packs of those because I need two O's. Yeah, I need two O's, and I didn't wanna have just like one O in one pack. They'll come in handy for other things. I also got two of these silver bags. I really wanted green because I found those uh, more more stuff for Chelsea's birthday, but I don't have bags. For for them and I don't have boxes to put the clothes in and Jason doesn't want to get me my Christmas box off the top shelf and I can't reach it. <laughs> 
so I have to just get a new bag. And I recycle these. Like I, I will reuse that for other birthdays, for other people. It'll, it'll get used. And then I also got this really pretty blue glitter paper. There's three pages in this. I couldn't get this this cheap at like Michaels or Hobby Lobby. 30 cents a piece. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to cut out probably just circles because that's just the easiest way to do it. I'll spell out my theme. So you're just going to have to wait. And then I also got some candy for her. Some Junior Mints. I always give candy for their birthdays so she can have one now and then if she wants to pack some in her, her carry-on bag to go on our trip with. She loves these little sour strip thingies. I got some mints for here in my car because I'm out. And then I'm actually curious. Look at this. Huge bag. You guys, this would have been like four dollars at Target. Like I want to like look at my receipt. I know everything is a dollar but sometimes I feel like starting to do like their three dollar or five dollar section. Ours isn't but I was like oh maybe they will. They are. A mm -mm. dollar twenty five. Sour bears and worms. Look how huge that is. I mean it's not even as long as this package here. So anyway good deals and then I actually got some more things from the dollar store that I'm going to go and film a uh, TikTok for. So if you know what these are for, you can go watch that video if you are on TikTok. If not, I will be talking about these when the time comes. It'll be after our trip, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to explain it twice in today's video. I don't wanna take the vibe down. You'll understand. If you understand, you understand. But I'm gonna head to Krispy Kreme really quick, and, and then I think I'm just gonna wait for him to get done. By the time I do that, um, do my TikTok, I think, ew, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll have time to run home and blow up balloons and set this stuff up and be productive with, with my time. Okay, just got my donuts at Krispy Kreme, and I kinda wish they had had some Easter ones already in like more colors. I don't know why the box is never open. Okay, I just got nine of the pink sprinkles because that's literally her favorite. And then three of the custard filled ones because those are my favorite. <laughs> I'm not eating all three, but if I'm going to have one, I'm going to have that kind. But I'm going to stack these ones up on a little tray just like we always do. So I think we're going to head home. Okay, I'm changing my mind. I just looked at the time and I literally have like 30 minutes before he's going to be done at the hospital. They said max an hour and a half. And I'm not going to get clear back home and then have to turn around and come back out. And that's the timing of it. So I think I'm going to go get a cold beverage and just go and sit and reply to your comments on today's video. Also, my sister watched the video and the one that got engaged. She watched that video and loved it. Her fiance loved it. And he did want to clarify, he does lie. He just knows how to sneakily work around things. So... <laughs> She says, thank you. She was kind of blown away. She's like, wait, people really care about me? And I'm like, of course people care about you. They want to see you happy. They saw you in Bear Lake last summer. They saw you all at all of our adventures. They want the best for you. So thank you for your well wishes to her. And I'm going to go get my cold beverage and wait for my father-in-law to be done. <laughs> Okay, I'll let him rest for a minute and then I'll come up. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Um, so perfect timing. Literally just pulled in. Oh, hang on. Turn off my TikTok. Just pulled in. I, I turned off the car. Literally on my first TikTok video that I'm watching right now. And <laughs> like, hey, he's done. I knew I shouldn't go home. I would have just barely gotten home. And I would have had to turn all the way around and come all the way back, which would have been annoying. So I'm just going to, they said he's recovering. He's going to be about 15 minutes or so to kind of wake himself up. And then I can go in and get him and I'll take him home. And then then I don't have anywhere else to go, which is nice. I can just get Ashley's birthday set up. I can wrap two more presents for Chelsea. And then I think I'm ready for the kids to come home from school and keep going. <laughs> what am I thinking? There's, yeah, we have to just keep going. All right, I just got home. I have a secret that I have kept from Jason, but it's in this package. He doesn't know I have this. He doesn't know. He has no idea I ordered this and he might be mad that I ordered it, maybe. So I'm I'm not gonna tell him about it until he watches this video. And then he's not gonna know what it is because I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. Should I tell you guys what it is? When does he watch this video? When are you guys gonna see this video? Let me go and check the date. I don't know what date I have this scheduled. Oh, he's gonna think it's an April Fool's joke. It's not an April Fool's joke. I did get it. Should we just wait and, and let him find out what it is from this video? And I'll keep it a secret until he finds out. But you guys get to know. I think that's what we need to do. You guys need to be in on it. But you have to be quiet until he watches this video. Don't put anything about what this is in the comments. He needs to watch it. All right, you guys ready to see what it is? Little. 
he was actually legit like, don't buy it, don't buy it, you don't need it. And I told him it was my money. I'm gonna preface this before I show you guys what it is. One, to keep you watching. <laughs> To, to explain myself a little bit. So when I buy extra things, either we both talk about it, we both agree on it, we have the money for it, we never go into debt for anything. And so if I decide to buy something by myself, when it's something that he says no to, I have to have the money for it. I have to have earned it outside of our regular income, the income he brings home. This is one of those things. So a while ago when I decided I did wanna do it, I knew I needed to save up the money for it, but all of our extra money has been going into Hawaii. And so when I got a scan last week and I had just gotten paid for it, I said, okay, that's half of what I need. That's half of what I need. I just need one more scan or my YouTube money from next month and then I'll be able to get this. So I went ahead and ordered it because I got two scans scheduled for next week that more than doubles what I currently need to buy this. And I have YouTube money, which now I'm in ahead for next year's Hawaii trip savings fund. I start to do that really quick. I'm not going to put that money into this year. I've already got enough. We're, we're fine. We're going to move on to saving for next year already. We haven't even left yet. That being said, we already have one of these. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to like, you have to just see it. It's a new GoPro. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get this. I've wanted one of the touchscreen ones, the GoPro 9, the Hero 9 is the first one with the, the front screen. I'm in love. I'm I'm excited about it. One, because in Hawaii, where we're going, there's a chance that Jason could be out with Kaylee and Abby paddle boarding or boogie boarding or snorkeling or whatever, and we could be separated. And I wanna be able to film water from both angles of whatever event we're doing. And I only have one GoPro. And so <laughs> it's never been a problem before. We've always gone to the same place when there's water. But the pool that we're going to is gigantic. And it also has a lagoon and that you can go out and snorkel and swim and, and uh, bodyboard, or not bodyboard there, but you can also paddleboard and then the dolphins and all this kind of stuff. I just think we need more than one. I saved up for it and I got it. And I'm so excited because this one doesn't need the external case on it like ours is. And so I can actually capture good audio, which also comes in handy. This is a plug for Jason for his hikes and for his skiing. I usually have him film audio clips on his phone and then I have to wait and get the phone from him and make sure he doesn't take it to work with him the next day when I need the footage. It's kind of a thing. And also the, the audio on a phone video is not that great. I always have to increase the sound. So now he can take this and vlog from it and capture his hikes all from this camera as well as we can take it and do water stuff so I'm super excited that I got this today I guess I bet you guys thought that this video was all gonna be about Ashley's birthday but um, just kidding even though we're going to set it up and decorate and get it all prepped for Ashley you guys have to wait until tomorrow so that's your April Fool's joke <laughs> You guys have to wait for Ashley to open all of her stuff until tomorrow. And I should have waited until to do that later, but you will get a sneak peek of what it looks like and I'll give you her reaction. I'll give you her reaction in today's video and then you'll have to come back tomorrow and I'll do a separate one with her opening her presents tonight. You'll see that again the next day. And I don't know if she's gonna wanna go out to dinner. I am more than happy to go out to dinner with her if she would like to, either all together as a family or just take her or whatever. She no longer likes pizza. There's not a lot of restaurants she likes. I don't care if it's McDonald's, but she's not even interested in that. So I'm not sure how our night's gonna go, so I'm kind of leaving that open, but you'll find out in that tomorrow. Okay, I wanna open this so bad, but I have an hour and a half before Ashley's home from school. I'm gonna actually put this camera down, finish setting up, and then I'm gonna show you, because I don't have time to film it. So stay tuned. Hey, you guys, it's so cute. I could have added a little bit more to it, but we ran out of time. As it is, it's really, really cute and just what it needs to be. So we're literally like minutes away from Ashley getting home. I'm gonna turn this. Okay, stay. You ready? You're gonna get the first view of it, and then Ashley will get her reaction. Ah! <laughs> this is not wanting to stay. It needs to stay over there. So it's on cloud nine, because she's nine. Isn't that so cute? Oh, focus. Okay, ignore the nine that doesn't want to stay in place, but look how cute. Uh, I'll take you around here, but like, we've got the little banners that I just made with Chelsea, and we've got her stack of donuts and her candies and her presents, and then I did little clouds up in the sky. So I could have done a ton more clouds, but I just, I don't have time, and this all has to come down tomorrow night. <laughs> Literally, it all has to come down tomorrow night to do Kaylee's birthday the next day. So I think it's really, really cute. Hey, 
actually just got home from school. Hey, Colton. Waiting for her to come up from the bus stop down there. Okay, what does it say? Ashley. And who gave it to you? Ashley. You know it's on backwards, right? Yeah, no, it <laughs> it's backwards. The A is on the wrong side. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, okay, we're all set up for your birthday in here, okay? But you can't open any of it. Yeah, I know. Okay, you have to just look at it, and then we get your reaction. So take your mask off. I'll take your backpack, okay? okay. And then when you come in, I want to get your reaction. So hang on here for just a second. So you're just letting me out here? Yep, okay, come. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I can't see. Close your eyes. Hang on, hang on. I got you. Keep them, keep them closed. Stay. Okay. Open? Yep, open. Do you like it? Yeah. I didn't know you got that. What? That in that one. The oh. rainbow? On the nine. I, I made it. I made it. Oh. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. You wanna go look at the treats real quick? Yeah. Have you ever seen a bag of sour gummies that big at tar at the dollar store? No. Crazy. And you love those? Yeah, I like them a lot. Can you save some of them for your travel bag? Yeah. I already can see what it's breakfast drinks. Yeah. <laughs> It's not. I, yeah, just a hint. It's, it's not actually either. breakfast hit yeah, drinks. Know, okay, but we have to wait two hours yeah. until dad gets home. And Jacob has a surprise for you for your birthday. But also, do you want to go out for your birthday to for dinner? Just even like drive through if you want. Or dessert if you want. Or do you want to just stay home and do whatever? Okay, you want to think about it? Okay, Jacob has a surprise for you. I'll insert the footage of Jacob scaring me at the door. Kaylee so graciously filmed it from the other side. So I will insert that here. Jacob. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. What? Dang it. I wish I turned the camera on too. Holy bloody. Did you get that? Okay, hey, Dad's here with pizzas. He needs help bringing stuff in. It's been a couple hours, right, Ashley? What? She's dying to open presents, but these guys are gonna have to wait until tomorrow to watch, right? We're gonna watch Encanto and open presents and have donuts. Yeah. So we're gonna sign off with you tonight. You're gonna have to come back tomorrow to enjoy the festivities of her birthday. Sorry, I hate to do that to you, but you know, just stringing you along to keep you watching and keep you interested so take care you guys and we'll see you guys next time